So, Chuck, did you find the weapons we needed? Yes. Where are the weapons we need? They're... They're in Family We. They are where we started. Hooray! As the navigator, I blame the map. <laughs> and the captain. Hey! Oh, wait. Am I the captain? I can't remember. You're the captain. Hey! No, wait. I'm sorry. I actually forgot. You are the pilot of the ship. The captain is drunk below deck, as I recall. I don't... But yeah, I blame the I... captain. Okay. That's cool. His neglectful butt deserves it. Okay. So, let me tell you what happened to me this morning while we're on our way to Family Hui, because it's going to be a while before we get there. Okay. Um, shouldn't we do, like, an intro? Oh, hey, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Grimwit from NatEvil.com. This is my friend Chuck. Say hello, Chuck. I hate the captain. Target <laughs> box on. Gate. Chains. Fire. I... What is... Hang on. Whoa, what What did I do? What did I do? Okay. Oh, that's right. It's got the elliptical orbit thing. I think it's this button. Yay! Okay, hang on. I need to set, check the sound settings. And yes, this is being recorded. We're going to turn that off. We're going to turn that down. Okay. So... I have been reading the Necronomicon, like the Grimoire. Okay. And I've already told you that the intro to it is brilliant or stupid, one of the two. The opening of the Necronomicon is by the supposed editor of the Necronomicon, and not just the person who wrote it, uh, to give an air of mystery to it. And he does something that Lovecraft did, since it's obviously based on Lovecraft's work. Uh, Lovecraft had a tendency to mix the real and the fake to give credence to the real. The guy who edited the book, or at least wrote the, uh, the prelude to the Necronomicon, did the exact same thing. He mixed the real and the fake. The problem is, is that in 1980, or actually in 1974 when this was written, the guy who wrote it had not access to the internet. So it's really easy to disprove all the facts that he gives. Wait, the Necronomicon is from the Disco Age? Yes. I thought it was older. Like, thousands of years old. Now, Necronomicon Ex Mortis, or the Book, book of Black Earth, as it self-refers... Oh no, he's gonna get away! Sorry, I'm also chasing a bad guy. It was written in the 70s. <laughs> oh. And, uh, anyway, so, so here's the problem that I ran into. The book teaches you to, to get through these different gates. Or these different... Yeah, pretty much. You pass through these different gates. There are seven gates corresponding to seven gods, and you need seven seals in order to get through the seven gates. Okay, and then I run into a little problem, because these seals require that they be written on a certain thing. The first seal is the seal of um, Nana, which is the god of the moon. Not oh. goddess, god of the moon. And I've, it must be inscribed I've, on silver. I've heard of Nana. Really? Actually, yeah. Although, I, I know him more by the full name, Nana Nana Boo Boo. <laughs> but that would, yeah. that would explain that uh, part of the uh, ritual is to stick your head in doo-doo. <laughs> oh, blaspheming the gods it is fun when it's fun. Whoa! Oh my god! I'm under attack! Hang on! <laughs> we need to lock onto the nearest enemy and start kicking ass. Permission to That's kick ass, sir? Permission granted. All right, let's kick ass. Nana, really? Uh, like, what, if, what if you're pronouncing it wrong? What if it's Nana? <laughs> I I pronounce it Nana for the reason of these are fake words and they require some kind of consistency in pronunciation. Is pronunciation a word, Chuck? Pronunciation is a word. Whoa! I forgot how powerful my guns were. I also forgot that they are close-range weapons. You can take splash damage from those guns. No so, way. Don't, don't fire too close.
Okay, these guys are going down real fast. I think he's in range. Is he in range? I can't tell. I can't tell either. I can neither see nor hear what you're doing. So. Oh, that's, that's true. Oh, that guy. Oh, he totally hit me. That's not cool. That's not cool at all. I wish I had brakes. If I remember right, one of the... Oh, screw it. Let's just kill this guy. <sighs> oh, man. The life of a navigator is so lonely. How do you mean, you man? Get, you get all the fun. I get to sit here staring at my assortment of maps. Well, if it's any consolation to you, uh... I... No, I don't have any consolation for you. <laughs> you should have said constellation. Then it could have been a navigator joke. It's, oh. It happens, man. What, what can I say? How mistakes mistakes were made. to me? I made my mistake. Oh. Where's this guy going? Oh man, I'm going the wrong way. Uh, I wish I had the book in front of me. This guy is an admitted bum. Like, he admits that he cannot make a living because his scholarly ways are blasphemous against the gods. Or, mm -hmm. I guess he's Arabic, so God? Singular? Mm. I'm not sure. So let me get this right. Uh, his, his name is Abdul Az Al Hazrad, who is the Mad Arab, known as the Mad Arab and the writer of the Necronomicon. No. You're an admitted bum, bum, Abdul. Where do you get silver? So then I read the next seal, and the next seal is like, okay, it needs to be written either on parchment or on a very large oak leaf. Okay, that's, that's pretty hippie, but... All right, I'll, I'll give you that. I didn't know there were a lot of oak trees in the desert. And then the third one comes up, and the third seal has to be written... Uh, I'm trying to remember. No, I can't remember what the third one is written on. But the fourth one is the seal of the sun. Can you guess what it has to be written on? Gold. Um, <laughs> what? Where, where are you going to get gold? You're a bum! <laughs> if it's the seal of the sun, you should have to write it on your kid. Ha ha ha! Pun! So, so my point is, it is expensive to be a magician! <laughs> <laughs> well, you can transmute all those metals from lead, though. No, no, that's alchemy, not, not uh, demonology, which is apparently what this one is. There it is. I am, I'm still going, by the way. We're, we're still traveling, just so you know where we are. Just let me know when we're in Family Wii. It starts pretty promising until you actually reach the Necronomicon. The Necronomicon itself is really, really silly. Oh, man. And anybody who takes it seriously is going to stalk me anyway because they're just crazy. <laughs> it's, kind of like, uh, it's kind of like trying to find abject cosmic wisdom in the cat in the hat. Wait, the Necronomicon... I thought it was all about chaos. Why would it have any sort of wisdom in it? No, no, it's it's not... OH, GOD! What? <sighs> sorry, sorry, what? uh... That was a near hit. I nearly crashed right into a split mule. Good lord, he was close to me. <laughs> you realize I'm imagining a space donkey right now. It practically looks that way. It's pretty clunky looking. Hang on, we gotta pick him up again. Okay. Uh, memo to the pilot from the navigator. Yeah? You need better internet. I will tell you a quick story. Alright. So, I was helping a woman the other day with her, uh, Cable One is what we have here. Cable One internet. Mm-hmm. And she has a Cable One email account. And she was trying to figure out how to BCC people, you know, blind carbon copy. Okay. And, you know, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. And their client, um, they actually use Gmail with the special Cable One ending on the end. So it's the Gmail client, but it's CableOne.net at the end. She called their tech support to ask how to blind carbon copy. They told her she has to type in each individual email address. That's not what that means. I know. She spent two hours on the phone with them. 
they charged her for the call and they told her she would have to type in each individual email address. She has over 200 contacts. She's a businesswoman. Okay, I'll fully admit that I don't know how to blind carbon copy, but I know what it means. It's pretty simple. You go to your contacts and you click on the names and then you add them to your blind carbon copy. It takes about 15 seconds. You, no typing involved. It's just clicking. This this isn't the first dick move I've heard from a uh, from a tech support guy because tech support I used to work tech support and I know tech support Chuck you used to work tech support and you knew tech support agents we worked together some yeah. of these guys were dicks well they weren't paid enough to care yeah it's yeah that simple um starting wage was eight bucks an hour but. Uh, but come on, man! Telling telling this poor woman who 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 doesn't know how to blind carbon copy, telling her to type it in individually, you could have at least said, you know, make a notebook file. Well, at the very least, yeah, I could have said, open up your contacts and cut and paste, if nothing else. It was like, but, would yeah. that have been so hard to explain that much and then charge her for it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to how to blind carbon copy. I just learned today, but <laughs> I I know it's not type it in. <laughs> See, that's that's my problem. See, I just gave you all that information for free. Oh my I need god! To figure out. I need to figure out a way to charge for it, like they do. This is it, man. This is definitely it. You got the family hui. I got the family hui. I got. I'm at the space dock. I'm looking at a gamma he plasma thrower. Mm-hmm. What? Now remember, you've got to sell your little gun before you can buy the big gun. I, I already have the... Why is it not letting me have more? What, what, hang on, I have. I can't hear it. I have, I have to turn up the volume. Sorry, uh, I'll be I, quiet. Hang on, i got to turn up the voice volume so I can find out why it's not letting me do this. It's not telling me. I, I just told you, no you don't have the room. Okay, okay, hang on. Gamma HE Plasma Thrower. It's it's not letting me buy another one. Why aren't you letting me... Oh, no? No? What? What? You, 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 wait, no, I have the money. Look at this, I have the money. Um, I have uh, 6,446,451 uh, credits. It costs uh, six hundred ninety-one thousand two hundred credits for a gamma HP plasma thrower. My ship already has uh, one gamma HP plasma thrower. I already have one of these, so it should not, you know, mix or anything. And no, stop that. And I can even sell it, but it will not allow me to buy one. Do you have two guns mounted or just one? That's no, that's a valid question. I will double check. Uh, let me see here. Uh, shots fired, missiles fired. Wow, I have a 17% efficiency for hit hit and miss. Jesus, that's horrible. <laughs> hey, that's better than a lot of people do in baseball. Okay, okay, this is the wrong view. Of course, there's not a lot of lasers in baseball. That's true. Okay, then scanner, face scanner, training system, extension, engine turning, docking computer, tech navigation system, video handheld, auxiliary engine, time accelerator, setup, push extension, electrical protector, uh, two, two 25 megawatt shields, one MFT plasma thrower, and three hornet missiles. End of list. Well, then I don't know what to tell you. Why can I not buy this? Are they just out? That's it. That's what the problem is. They don't <laughs> have any more. I'm not kidding. I'm not joking. <laughs> It says on the left, market zero. It says on the right, ship one. They I only had have been one. The first thing you checked. But, okay. It's all right, man. We'll okay. just go to the next place. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh, my God. Where's the next place, Chuck? It's all right. The How? next closest place is going to be Family Pride. Okay. You're going to go down from we. You're going to go through Family Zine. You're going to go into Thurox Pride. And then you're going to take a east turn to Family Pride. You know where that was, Chuck? That was where we just were. What? We were just there. 
you know what? I'm not going to do it. You I'm not going to travel. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't have to travel that way. Oh my god, what have I done? I just shot a missile at their port. <laughs> what? Uh, the Split Dynasty will not allow such actions again as you have continued to defy the Split Dynasty. Hang on, I'm trying to kill myself. Prepare to die. <laughs> it actually said prepare to die. Awesome. Uh, there we go, I'm dead. <laughs> oh god. So I've now, never been so happy to see a game over because that means I can just load it. I'll just load the game. That's right. In two videos now, we've accomplished nothing. Welcome to the excitement of X Beyond the Frontier. <laughs> I laugh at your pain. I'm going to watch Attack the Block later today. What is Attack of the Block? Just Attack the Block. Oh, what is You've Attack heard the Block? Of it? No. It's the new uh, horror film by the makers of Shaun of the Dead. Yeah, it's, it's a horror comedy. And instead of being about zombies, it's about aliens. No aim. Yeah, sure, why not? Because aliens are funny. Yeah. I should I, know. I rented it on Blu-ray. I'm going to see what it's if it's any good. Why would anybody rent Blu-ray? Because this movie was filmed for Blu-ray. The other day I was talking to a guy who bought The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly on Blu-ray. So he wants, he wants a movie in better quality than when it was shot. Right. That's exactly right. It was filmed on only the lowest quality Italian cameras. Now he has it in high def? Well, it's high definition, low quality camera work. Well, I mean, I understand the switch from VHS to DVD. I get it. You could pause better. You could skip tracks instead of just having to fast forward and rewind. The special features are awesome. I understand why DVD is so much better than VHS. I don't understand why Blu-ray is so much better than DVD. Um, space flies, Chuck. Space flies. Let me see. Uh, and hang on, hang on. I'm actually checking to see if they have one. They have several. They have hundreds. They, they're ba they bathe in them. They, the split race are actually known for taking a bunch of high-energy high plasma throwers, throwing them into a pit like a ball pit at a McDonald's playground, and jumping inside and rolling around in them. Wow. You just, do not want to get in a fight with these people. Just to spite me. Just to spite me. They don't even know who I am, and they're spiting me. They just build their ships out of them. <laughs> That's their propulsion. <laughs> we don't... Oh, we don't use rocket engines. You, Your primitive ways <laughs> bore us. No, <laughs> we, we propel our ships by firing lasers on the back. Whatever's behind us is just out of luck. That's all there is to it. Which wreaks havoc on their docking port. Okay, we've successfully docked. We okay. are in... What's the market for these babies? How many of them do we have? Can we buy one? They have exactly one left. <laughs> thought you said they had hundreds. There he is. It's not my fault, Chuck. I hate your internet. It's not my fault. It's not all my fault. So here's the deal. Okay. Under stock, it shows that they have more... I kid you not, the, the stock line shows that they have more gamma HE plasma throwers than they do gamma impulse ray emitters, which is a different kind of gun. The okay. gamma impulse ray emitters, they have 92 of. The gamma HE plasma throwers, they have one! That's, that's all we need. Just buy it. All right. It's bought. We are full up on guns. Thank God. Now Is it equipped and everything? It's equipped and everything. Now I need to get to some place to save, or I'm afraid we'll just crash and lose everything. So I need to be very careful which buttons I press. Fired off a missile! No, no, I'm just kidding, Chuck. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh God! Do I need to find you a save point? No, no, no. I'm. Every place has a save point except for a docking bay, which is a you know, kind of a joke, <laughs> so that when you get the items that you need, you can actually die before you can save. Just just watch that trigger finger, Tex, okay? Alright, it's the control button. I know that, because pressing this... Oh, shit, I just... No, I'm kidding, Jack. <laughs> it was funny the first time. 
It's actually known as a space aquarium because space. Just save. Guess what, though? Okay, positive. We, as soon as you save this game, yeah, we've got everything we need. We can officially start with plot again. Really? Yeah. There we go. Salad insurance. I'm saved. We're good. We're we're actually good. We we won, kind of. All right. <laughs> well, my friend, I think that's an episode. Man, that was, oh, I won. One and both, they, you maniacs! You, uh, I'm sorry, I just hit my my headset. It's <laughs> what fine. If, so so you need two of these guns to be sure you're completely decked out and awesome. Right. And both of those guns are in two different locations and opposite ends of the map. Correct. Wow. Makes sense to me. It only took us 90 minutes to get back in the swing of things. Yay! X beyond the frontier. Excitement! Excrement. <laughs> oh, man, you made me laugh so hard. I think I, my, my <laughs> breakfast laugh, too. I felt it doing something. Mm, you're uh, welcome. <laughs> Excrement. <laughs> oh, God, that's it. That's today's episode. I'm done. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody.